Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video today and this is going to be an exciting one. I want to follow up with my original video on picking out my summer bag and actually show you what I ended up getting. Spoiler alert, I actually only spent about $200. And if you haven't seen my original video of me mulling over which bag I should get for my summer bag, definitely check that out because it might give you some ideas if you are still looking for one. Also, I just hit 500 subscribers. I uploaded my first video back in November 2nd of 2022. Honestly, I didn't think I would have so much to say. So I want to thank all of you for listening to me yibber yabber for the past seven months. So I will be doing a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned with the video. So let's get right into it. I'm sad to say I didn't end up getting any of the bags for my original video. I really tried, but it just didn't work out. So story time. Um, I did end up purchasing from Satire the Pinko Puffer Bag in the mini size, but it did not work out. So I wanted to do a quick video on this just because I've had read and watched a lot of YouTube um, videos about satire and people's experience with it. And I will tell you, I had something similar, obviously not as extreme, but this particular pinko bag, if you watch my previous video on picking out a summer bag, I ended up picking this pink one, which is completely adorable. And I wanted to film this because I just initiated a return for this and I didn't realize they're going to pick it up in the same day and within like a couple hours. So I just wanted to do this real quick before I have to ship this back. But when I originally ordered this, the description for this particular purse, and I'll show you a screenshot of it, is 70% leather with 30% nylon. Um, so I'm thinking like when I, the pictures, you can't really tell. I thought it was gonna be this hot pink, gorgeous color and leather, but when this showed up, it is 100%, well, let's just say it was reversed. 70% nylon with 30% uh, leather. So again, this is the, the baby size. You can see the outside is nylon and then the inside is leather, which like kind of, blows my mind like why would you make a bag like that if you're gonna make it nylon you just might as well do it the hundred percent nylon throughout right instead of just having some leather on the inside of it where nobody's really gonna see it um overall it is a really cute bag and it comes with um the chain which is this old looking gold color, which is, I think, a, a great color. And of course, this is the same kind of hardware on the front with the Pinko logo, which again, is really cute, but I'm not looking for a nylon bag. I'm wanting to get a leather bag, which I think is gonna be much more durable. Nylon is prone to having stains on it, and for this kind of color, any stains on this is going to look awful. So unfortunately, this didn't work out. I did reach out to Satire's customer service. They were pretty quick in response and they said they're gonna do some research and for me to go ahead and initiate their return. But I made sure to make take a screenshot of it because I only sent them the link of the product description and saying it was incorrect. And I just looked this morning and they corrected it saying that it's 100% nylon which again, I'm glad I took a screenshot in case they tried to um, tell me that that's not the case. It's always been nylon, right? When you return with Satire, they don't charge you for returns in terms of uh, the shipping, but they do charge you a $25 restocking fee. So I'm not about to be charged for that when it's not my fault, right? And overall, the packaging was great. It came with that Satire box. And then also came with the Pinko box, came with all of the tags. So it was very well packaged and everything. So I wanted to share that just so you have an expectation if you decide to sell, to shop with Satire. Isn't this adorable? Oh, I just wish this was leather. It would have been such a good deal. I think I bought it for like 130 something dollars. And it was during the week where I think Satire was doing like 15% cashback. So it was obviously a really good deal. 
Unfortunately, this is not going to work out. So that was incredibly disappointing. So, hey, if you aren't subscribed just yet, do consider subscribing. I'd love to see you back as I aim to provide relevant content for us everyday consumers who just want to shop smarter and, of course, less than retail. So back into it. So enough of me waving my hands around. Let me show you the first bag that I got, which is going to be, if you are familiar with Dress Up Your Purse and Hello Catwalk City, this is their collaboration. So instead of buying one white bag or one hot neon pink bag, yes, spoiler alert, I got two bags. Um, so here's the first one. And it comes with a really, really nice dust bag. And I actually got the medium porchette and buttercream. I was super excited to receive this and um, this worked out perfect for my summer white bag. It's actually really more of a, a creamy white as opposed to a pure white bag, which I am completely okay with. And for this one, it comes with a cloth strap and I already started using this and I'll talk a little bit about how I've been using this. And it's an adjustable strap, so you can make it long or short. And then if you've got other chains that you want to use with this instead of the strap that it came with, you can definitely use the D-ring and use a regular chain strap. Or if you want to use a Vachetta strap, you can definitely mix and match here. So I what I really like about this is that Melody from Dress Up Your Purse did match the leather from the actual purset and the strap itself. My biggest pet peeve is seeing, you know, some of the purchettes out there or any bag really to have the leather piece not match up with the actual purse itself. So I do appreciate that portion of it. Um, the inside of it, I'll just kind of show you. I know you can definitely watch Hello Kitty or Hello Kitty, <laughs> Hello Catwalk City's original video. Um, so I won't go into too much detail about it, but taking out the stuffing, um, the inside is really spacious. There's a little pocket here and then also a zip pocket here, which I've got my little eyelash curler for my eyelash extension. So that's a really good place for it. And what it really fits in here. It's definitely not going to fit my cosmetic pouch. So you will have to pare down and take just the essentials or find a smaller cosmetic pouch that will fit in there. And then my new dress up your purse. I got this at the same time. Um, little key pouch, which I actually just keep a bunch of cards in there and some cash. I don't usually carry that much. So I've really have moved away from regular SLGs, like even compact wallets or, you know, absolutely no long wallets. I don't have enough stuff to carry with that. I just found myself to be paring down more and more to just a tiny little key pouch where I keep all of my cards, you know, and just a little bit of cash. So yeah, I mean, when I first started using a key pouch and just paring down more and more, I'm actually having a hard time finding, finding my wallet, even in my mini bags. And I would have like mini uh, panic attacks, like, where's my wallet? And it's like, oh, okay, it's at the bottom here. So, <laughs> so I, I, I took a little bit of adjusting too. So that easily fits in there. And then of course, you know, iPhone 10, you can easily put that in there if you want some lipsticks or you know hand sanitizer as long as you don't put it in a big cosmetic pouch you can easily fit all of that in there and it is very um spacious so it's a really nice grab and go um, it is solid color so you can literally pair it up with anything so they did talk about color transfer Unfortunately, I do have a little bit of color transfer. If you're wearing something like nylon or material that is more like athleisure, you probably won't get color transfer, but then, which is what happened I, when I wore all day, anything cotton where like jeans or I had a 
blue jacket on from Atleta and it is like the linening cotton material and within 30 minutes it did a little bit of color transfer you can't really see it on camera but if i look at it i can tell i originally before i wore it i was talking to one of you guys uh, one of my subscribers uh, and she recommended carbon pro which I didn't have on hand. I had it back in my Chicago home. So I wasn't about to buy another one. And then I was like looking in my closet here in Nashville and I had this one. So I sprayed it, but it still had color transfer. So I reached out to Melody. Let me clean up my mess here. I reached out to Melody and was asking her if she had any ideas on how to prevent um, color transfer. She's like, unfortunately there really isn't any option and then she started looking up a purse form and by the way if you don't know melody she is the owner of dress up your purse and she is so responsive and very nice and we have had many good conversations about purses and everything else but um she did look up on purse form for me like immediately and she said that most people actually use this one which is the kiwi protect all waterproofer I showed up to one of the local stores and there's like a bunch of Kiwi options. So just make sure you get this particular one because I think most people said that this one works the best. Some of the people on purse form did say that they use Carbon Pro and it ends up making the white leather a little bit yellowy. So my other subby said that she uses Carbon Pro on all of them. So take that for what you will and just experiment a little bit. But again, I didn't want to buy a bottle of the same thing I already had, just not with me. So I decided to try out the Kiwi one instead. I just spray this, so I haven't tested it out. So we'll see how it works. I'll give you guys updates. The other thing about the strap here in terms of feedback, I did talk to Melody about this, is that the leather on, or the leather, the cloth on these straps are so soft, which feels really nice and it's really easy on your shoulders, but because they're so soft, they have a tendency of twisting and turning. Um, and then of course, the this portion of it does, it has a mind of its own and decides to lengthen or shorten um, when I'm just tossing it around and it moves on its own. So I did give her feedback and she said, yes, that is something that they're going to work on for the next batch. So I hope to see um, changes, which again, it's a great thing to talk to small business owners and just talk to them directly, give them your feedback and immediately they respond and said, yes, let's make some improvements. And again, if you talk to big luxury, they're like, they just laugh at you. Ha, huh? okay, whatever. And it will probably take thousands of people to have the same feedback before they'll make any updates to their purses. Um, when, you know, as opposed to a small business owner, they immediately make the changes, which I love, right? So something to keep aware of. Um, to me, it's not a big deal. Obviously, I'm going to keep using it. And if um, she does come out with a new updated strap, I might consider getting that for this new purse as well. And I purchased this with the 15% off code. Um, so this ended up being about 107 and it was free shipping. So if I'll link my code down below if you want to use it for 15% off. Why is my arm dirty? What, what, what just happened here? All right, so for the second purse, ta-ta-ta, look at this. So I actually just got two bags. <laughs> I really was debating between the white bag. Obviously, I started with the white bag and then I went down the rabbit hole as you saw in my original video. I was like, ooh, hot pink. That could be really good for summer. So yeah, this is how my mind works. Why buy one when you can get two, <laughs> right? Especially for the white bags I was looking at, they were all like five or $600. Um, some of them were like two or $300. So I ended up purchasing the MZ Wallace. Uh, this is the micro, uh, in a hot pink off of Poshmark. So I was able to get this at $85 after shipping taxes. This came out to be like a hundred three ish, uh, dollars. So I ended up getting two bags for about $200, which is amazing. 
And I've been eyeballing this bag when I went to Neiman Marcus to, um, I was actually up in Chicago where there's a Neiman Marcus as well as a Louis Vuitton. I was there for some service with my keep all and I wandered into Neiman Marcus and they had a bunch of NZ Wallace. They only had black and like neutral, super dark colors, mostly black in their stores. And I was just like touching them. I was like, ooh, this feels nice. So I went home and did some research, took a look at NZ Wallace and I saw that they had this hot pink bag and I was just like mesmerized. So I had to have it. Okay, I don't have to have it, but I had to have it. <laughs> so I um, scoured the internet for, uh, and this I think originally retails for $185. I'm like, I'm not paying $185, are you crazy? <laughs> so I ended up uh, finding this one and got this for $85, right? So this is a super adorable tote, little tote in the micro size. And I thought it was adorable because it has the leather stitching on here for your hands so that, you know, when you have sunscreen or maybe you have grimy hands, this can, um, this kind of feels like, this is Vachetta, Vachetta, Vachetta. Um, very similar to like the Louis Vuitton one, but um, I think the will patina over time, which is kind of cool. And it's the same thing for the sides of it. This particular portion of it is pretty substantial. And again, going back to my whole criteria where I like the top handle as well as the crossbody to have different options. And then just taking out the stuffing. It's pretty much just an open compartment with one pocket where you can put, you know, eyelash extension, you know, brushes in here. And well, actually there's two little compartments here as well. Lots of pockets. Um, it's an incredibly lightweight bag, and I want to say this could be waterproof. I'm not 100% sure, but it is. Oh, here's another pocket. I actually just got this today, so I'm discovering new things with you. Um, so there's a lot of compartments, and it's just an open space. And for this one, you can easily put in there, as well as um, the key pouch, and everything just fits in here. I'm pretty sure you can put a water bottle. So this is definitely small. Um, but definitely mighty, a really good size to purchase. And then have you noticed a trend? Uh, yes, I have a new obsession, not just with white bags, but the hot pink. <laughs> this one's more of like a rose pink, but yeah, I really, really do like my pinks for some reason. And I know pink is not going to be a very classic color that's going to stand the test of time which is why i didn't want to spend too much money so again this key pouch i got from dress up your purse um i think after 15 percent off it was like 30 dollars. i forget but I'll, I'll post the links down below for you if you want to check it out and then this one i got off of amazon for like 12 13 dollars so yeah i i this is how I want to spend my money. I don't want to spend too much money on something that might not last, you know, decades, right? It's not something you can wear all the time. It's more of a summer bag, in my opinion. So I think this is definitely very prone to transfer. So what I'm going to do is definitely experiment with using the Kiwi um, protector and see if I can spray it down so that one, it's waterproof and hopefully um, won't get any color transfer. So this one is used, and I think the person who used it before did have a little bit of color transfer already, which is fine with me, um, just because I'm gonna be using this bag. I'm not gonna be babying it or anything. I'll probably just toss it around. I might use a wet wipe and see if I can get some of this off, but it's not a big deal. You can't really tell. Um, one thing I will say is that this is very substantial and it's incredibly heavy. I feel like if you were to take this buckle off of the bag, it probably weighs more than the entire bag itself. But it is versatile. I do how, like how you can undo it. Scrunch it up and hook it up to the little D-ring at the bottom so that gives you a different kind of look. I probably won't do that just because I like the versatility uh, of using a crossbody as well as the top handle at the same time. But it is there if you would like that look, more of a dumpling look, etc. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration on what to purchase as your summer bag if you haven't gotten one already.
and let's get into the criteria of this giveaway. And I am in full support of small businesses, so I do want to support Melody as well as Dress Up Your Purse. So my giveaway is going to be coming from her line of products. So I actually have two items in terms of giveaways. The first one is going to be not this particular one. I did order more where I am giving away a key pouch to one of my loyal subscribers that always comments on my videos. You know who you are. I will put all of you in one particular pot and do one drawing for this first prize. And it will be a smaller pot, obviously. <laughs> and that way I will send it to you um, once I do the drawing. Nothing you have to do for this one. The second prize is going to be, the second giveaway is going to be this mini pochette that I got not too long ago. This is from her dream collection and I, it come and it comes with a chain as well as a short chain. Oh, there's the long one. I have one for myself already. I actually have two and I found it to be incredibly useful. Um, it comes with a rainbow chain that is, you know, a shorter strap, which is super cute. So this is completely brand new. And this will be the second giveaway. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below what bag you got for this summer, or if you didn't buy one, which one you are currently using the most for this summer. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and comment on my new post about this video. I post a lot of food on my Instagram, so if you like food, I'm sure you'll enjoy the post of me eating out or the food I make on the daily. So let's not make this complicated or hard. I will post the instructions down below. I really hope I can hit that 1000 with all of your help. I'll leave this open for two weeks as I'm gonna be doing some work travel, so I wanna make sure everybody gets a chance. And then in my next video, after that closes, I will post who or I'll do the spinoff like I did last time um, for the winners. I hope you enjoyed this video and gave you some ideas other than spending money on big luxury uh, as we all really like. But for summer pieces like this, I think it's good to save money on that because it could get scuffed up or perhaps it is not the color you will be using decades from now, right? Life is hard, I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and less than retail. I'll see you next time.